Assalamu alaikum. Today I am going to show you um, the PGT biasing circuit characteristics curve. So first I will search for the transistor Q. I am going to take this first one, place it and close it. Okay, then I will take a resistance. Okay, it's our resistance. Uh, here is one kilo ohm resistance, but I will take it 100 kilo ohm, 100k the value. Uh, so then I will go for. 2 DC voltage VDC. This is our first VDC, and here is first uh, second VDC. And this VDC level, I will name it as VB. VB means the input um, biasing voltage. And I will name it V3 as VCC, the collector base voltage. It's a common emitter NPN junction. You can see here. And I will take to ground also. Okay. And I will complete this circuit with the wire. Here. And this point here. So it's our complete circuit. Here the voltage value of two of this DC voltage is zero volt. Then I'll go to save it here. I'll save it at as B. J T transistor bipolar biasing transistor dot ACH. Okay, save it. Then I will go for the analysis setup. Here we will here we set only DC swap the voltage source value. The voltage source value is VCC. The voltage source value is VCC and its starting value. Is zero volt. Sorry. Zero volt. The in value, the in value is 10 volt. Here the increment, I will count 0 0.01 volt. And it's the setting for VCC. Here the setup is for the collector basis voltage and I will go for the nested sweep. It's nested what? It's nested the VBB. The input voltage. So it here VBB. The VBB. VBB is starting. Here I will use 3.7 volt. 
to 12.7 volt. And it will, sorry here, uh, the sweep types obviously linear. You can, uh, you will make sure it's linear and the sweep first type is voltage source. Okay. Mm, the starting value is int value and increment is two volt. And you must ensure the enable nested sweep to write it and okay. So our setup is done, close it, save it again, and simulate it. And here is our simulation window, and I will simulation, simulate what? I will simulate the current from the collector. And the collector base current is ICQ1. You must ensure ICQ1 is the collector current. So, okay. And here you can see is 0 ampere to 10, uh, 20 milliampere is our collector current. And if you want to show it as spring preview, here is spring preview, VZT bipolar junction transistor junction characteristics, current, uh, output current. Uh, so thank you for watching this video. We'll meet in the next video.